so the total carbon breakdown. So let's say, you know, and again, I really want everybody to leave with a good understanding of the difference between these two. So I'm going to hammer it into you a lot. So let's say we're sitting on a beach. It's a natural beach, you know, maybe some national park, and we just pick up a random piece of earth. You know, we just, we just clump it up. And if we, if we look at what's in our hand, we're going to find that we have, you know, maybe little bits and pieces of bones, hard to see, but, you know, maybe they're there. Uh, pieces of trees, of course, the sediment we picked up, maybe whole shell fragments. If it's wet, we might have some dissolved stuff in seeds. So what we have in our hand can actually be broken down into these two pools. So again, our inorganic carbon refers to the particulate carbons that are made up of carbonate, right? And that's our, you know, some sediments and, and our shells, you know, clam shells, also forum tests, stuff like that. And then when we change the pH, that will then go into our inorganic dissolved pool, right? Uh, bicarbonates, carbonates, and then uh, finally CO2. When we talk about organic carbons, they actually break into two forms. You have your purgeable organic carbons and your non-purgeable organic carbons. So first, purgeable, if you had like a tree that fell over in a forest and was decaying on the ground, it would release CO2 naturally into the atmosphere. Now, when that's happening in water, what you end up having is you have CO2 that then actually joins the inorganic pool as a result of decay. Right, so we have a whole system here of how these things can all come together. But what we're gonna focus on is our non-purgeable organic carbons. And then that breaks down into the dissolved in particulates. And again, what we have here, what really defines the difference between these is a filter, and that's a 0.5 micron filter. So the things that are unable to pass through this filter are considered particulate non-purgeable organic carbons. And the things that do pass the 0.45 micron filter, those are now our dissolved organic carbon uh, pools.